Well, I'm headed out. It's been raining all day. It's supposed to rain all day on and off. I got a little break in the clouds. Tide's low in about an hour here on the bay. It's the shade after three. So I'm gonna give it a quick spin out front here just for the hell of it. Get some exercise. See what happens. I'll probably get rained on. I have to run home. It's supposed to be thundering and lightning. I'm, that's why I'm not going far. Stand by, we'll see how it goes. I like the looks of it already. Bars dried up, slew both sides. We'll see how it goes. Hello. I see a couple little low spots here and there. Some holes here and there. We'll see how it goes. If the rain comes, you girls need to do a rain dance, okay? Get the rain away. Great balls of fire. All right, here we go. Looks bad right through there. We'll work right down this slough here. That little low spot right there, and the next one, we don't find nothing. We'll turn around, we'll come back up and work. Maybe two that way. Not too far from the house. Well, we can run for cover. I mean, the machine's waterproof, but I don't think these wireless headphones are waterproof. I probably can't afford to get them wet. Stand by.
Hey. Well, we got a 13 and a 14. I didn't know this thing was on for about a minute or so, but we leave it on. Solid 14. Solid pull tab. Gray in color. Shiny. I don't like it. But that's the first target of the day. Trash cans with green liners in them right there. We have them up at the block. Every block we have a trash can. And that's the same way at the Landonada at the oceanfront. There's a trash can every block or two. I'll get to that. I'll get back to that point in a little while. Stopped. You can see the little change in the I think they came right down to that street right there. I think that's what they call it Lee. I think that's Lee. I think that's where they stopped. You can see how, and it's wide. It's all the way, this wide, all the way clear to the amphibious bait gate, that little creek. I'm going to turn around here and go back. Wait a minute. Got a hit here. It's a big one, though. 1417. Let's see what that is. It's only the second hit. Probably a bottle cap. A little jumpy, you know. Deep, whatever it is. Stand by till I find it. Well, I got about 15 scoops out of it. I still haven't got it. I'm gonna try about one or two more. I'm pretty sure it's iron now because it's got some negative numbers jumping in on it. But this is just my second target, so I got lots of exercise. Now you see where this little handle works good. You just grab your hand onto it like this. And you pull out. This wet sand full of suit weighs a thousand pounds. It says it's three inches deep. That's the deepest three inches I ever found. Come out of there, baby. <sighs> One more and we go on another spot. There's four inches now. I don't hit anything. That's what I don't understand. I don't know. I'm not hitting anything big. So whatever it is. Come on, baby. Last scoop. Come on, Gladys. That's exercise right there. You can see a solid 15, 16. Put the pit pointer on. Seventeen. We'll try one more. Come on, baby. That's it. Now, am I going to cover that hole up? 
not hardly. These waves will fill it in in five minutes. For you naysayers, that's what's going to happen. Nothing. I'm turning it around. Up here, we have another little slough up here that I can see back there. It's only up here. Pretty interesting. It's only in this one spot. Look at that. that drop off. It must be two foot deep right there. We'll hunt that for a minute or two. Damn, we got a 16. Solid 16. Nothing else. Nickel, pull tab, file cap. What do you think? I think a nickel would be a little lower. But I think a bottle cap would jump around now. I think we have it. I'm thinking bottle cap 100%. Nope, I think I'm wrong. Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Oh, there it is, you little taquito. Aha! Platinum, too. The best. Platinum bottle cap. I like them. You see, you just put your foot over here like that. You rake that in there like that. You rake that in there like that. You rake that in there like that, and you pat it down nice and say, thank you very much. Iron fence post. I dug this out of the bay about three weeks ago, or a month ago. We find lots and lots of these here. I didn't stick it back in the hole, nor did I put it in that trash can. I carried it up here and laid it against the fence. Figured somebody would pick it up and put it in the trash can. But as you can see, it is still here. Now for you people who think I throwed that steel washer back in the hole, you can think that if you like. But if you think I was going to put it in my pouch and walk around with it all day, you're mistaken about that too. I'm not Walter Cronkite, but I got news for you. That didn't happen. But I did throw it in the trash can. Now I could throw all my bottle caps and all my pull tabs in there too, but I don't normally throw the light little things, which I don't mind carrying around with me all day. But not that big piece of iron. I know uh, people like to dig iron. I, maybe I should have left it so they have something to practice on. I guess it depends on how you look at it. And how your mindset is on being a hater on YouTube. You can't think anything positive has to be all negative. But that's life. That's the way it happens sometimes. I got to get back to the detective. Or exercising, I should say. Well, I want to go a half a mile further this way. There's a nice looking low spot down there I want to check out, but I don't think I'm going. I think I'm going to turn around and beat it back to the Rancho Max. I'll get back to you. Let's try the bottle cap theory. We got a solid 16 right here. 15, 16. Now if you pump it up and down, it jumps around, and you get some iron grunts. Lots of iron grunts. Like that, it's solid. But we know it's a bottle cap. I just want to see if it is now. Oh, a piece of iron. Let's put it that way. But I'm thinking bottle cap. See, it's 
see it's very shallow. Look at there, there it is. Look at that ticket. Yes, sir. It's not platinum. It's Helsian or some damn crap. What do you think of them tickets? For an hour. Pretty nice, huh? Platinum. That's right. You can't find platinum every day. And when you do, you feel extremely lucky. Some of y'all wanted to know about settings. Nothing special. Let's get to it. Beach 2. Works good in the water. Damp sand. I never tried it anyplace else, so I can't help you on the rest of it. Ground balance we don't use. I got the volume maxed out at 25. I got the threshold at 5. Now, I really played with this a lot. Some people say if you turn it down to 3, 2, or 1, or 0, it's like a different detector. If you don't want to hear anything but good sounds. And I've tried it that way. And I used to hunt that way sometimes with my x -Cal. But I've been listening to Threshold for so long that I keep it at 9 or 10 now. Let's see what else we got here. Five tones. Some people probably use 50. A lot of the guys here go into two tones. Gig Master, I'm not sure about the other guy. Guy in Florida, he's using two tones. Good sound, bad sound. Not a bad deal. I don't even really know what that is. I'd have to look that up. Sweep speed is at six. Sometimes I usually keep it at two, between one and two. But I was covering some territory today, so I moved it up to six. Now, if we go back and we hold this button down, we get different zones where you can change the tones a little bit. Push the button on threshold sound, you get, you can enhance or decrease the, the actual threshold of things that you actually hear. There you can change everything, all, this, all the five tones. Change them if you want to, so they sound a little different to you. I fiddle with that too, but I've gone back to the factory on that. I don't remember what that is. And that's your iron bias. We've been keeping ours around eight. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but that's where we like it. I think it goes from one to eight. I don't think it goes any higher. Yeah, nine. It goes at hot nine. Okay. It goes down as low as zero. And that's it. We hunt in uh, pinpoint almost all the time. I mean, on uh, all metals, as you see there. Multi tones, which is, you know, five in this particular case. And that's all I can share with you. I haven't done anything else. Don't plan on doing it. I did set this little uh, doodad right here for one program that only lets you use one. But, you know, it's light. It works good. It's fast. Some people want to know, was it deep as the x -Cal? Well, I think I told you a long time ago, everything that's ever been out since the Explorer SE is deeper than the x -Cal when used properly. Now, if you saw what Larry said yesterday in my post about 11 minutes and 58 seconds, he had just bought one of these, and he said, oh, I don't think I like it. It's too deep. It's way deeper than my x -Cal I ever thought about being. You didn't hear all that because I cut it off, but he said him and his wife were down here the other day and she was using the Equinox and she hit a target and he come up and check it and he said, I, I can't even hear it. But once he got a scoop off of it, a scoop of sand off of it, he could hear it pretty good. And that's the same way it's always been with the SE Pro and the E-Track and all that. It hears more than the X-Gal. 
Now I ain't gonna say it here is more if you use the X cal correctly, because I guess most of these guys don't actually do that. As you put the X cal into pinpoint, turn the volume up, I mean the sensitivity up. That's a hard ticket to beat right there. But most of y'all don't like to hunt like that, so and that's another theory. But it's uh, proof proven. If you don't believe me, you look at what Beach Nuts found. Go to Beach Nut on YouTube or Facebook. Those of you who know Joe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's all I'm going to say on that. Now, since we're ranting, today I bought a truck cap for my Colorado. I bought a ARE. I've been shopping for a month. I've been looking at Lears and a couple other brands that aren't here locally and ARE. And I finally pulled the trigger yesterday on a Lear, I mean on an ARE, I call it a V-Series. I really wanted one called a CT, uh, CX, but it was a, a couple hundred dollars more. But I like the way it was, the windows were recessed in the size in the back compared to the V model. But I ordered a V. And I came home and I watched some more videos and I went to the website and I looked around a little bit more and I had a bunch of knives to deliver today. So I carried my leader along with me and carried her back to the store and let her take a look at the uh, the two. And she said, oh, I like this CX too. Let's get it. So, <laughs> so now I got to point out $200 more when it arrives. And it guy said between four and six weeks. You can't see him, but there's a guy lives four houses down from me. He just got one. He's got it on a Toyota four-door. Took him five weeks and two days to get his. And we stopped by and talked to him today. He's had the, he had the V model. But he put two roof, uh, I guess you call them roof racks on the top. So you can carry stuff on the top. But I'm not going to do. Now i got to come up with a plan how to put this thing in there. I looked at a bunch of videos on truck bed sliders. Now, ARE sells one called a cargo slide. It's a stainless steel, fancy aluminum ticket that goes in here and you grab hold of it and pull your stuff right out. It's over a thousand smackers. Not in my class, um, not in my, my budget. I looked at a couple of YouTube videos and a guy lays this kind of fancy board down here and he puts something else on top of that, a sheet of plywood, and he puts felt sliders on it. He puts everything on that and he pulls it in and out slides perfectly on that on that board on the bottom then I looked at some that had drawers on the bottom here and a, right here these trucks got these indented places where you put two by six or two by two or something six inches wide and long I mean and, I mean wide and stick it across the places two places and you put a sheet of plywood on top of that so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to make me some I'm going to keep all my tables down here I think which will make it out about this wide and then I'm going to build a some uh, trays in here. I'm going to go to the hardware store, I mean to the uh, Target or Walmarts and buy some of them big plastic totes and I'm going to hook three of them together and put them on a piece of plywood and I'm going to slide them in and out with my things that I want to keep in those totes. I'm going to keep all my sharpeners and all up on the upper level and anything else I need up there. Then you grab it and you got the felt sliders on it you pull it right back out. That's my plan anyway. I'm starting to gather up the stuff now. That'll be another video sometime in the future. No rain. I made it back okay. See you tomorrow at home. Rain tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sounds like the Saturday market will get rained out as well. But as it shapes up right now, I guess the afternoon market today could have gone on. I know the lady who runs is going to be upset because she hates to miss a market. She's mumbling bad, I can guarantee you that. I could have sure used 70 more knives today. Record-breaking market for me. All right, that's it. I'll see you later. Hey, boo boo. Certain times in Virginia during the crab season, 
certain little morsels become available. They become available mid-May. And if you're lucky in your right spot, sometimes they'll last as long as through the month of September into early October. They're available a couple times a month depending on when they molt or shed. I got them yesterday. Oh, actually, I got them last night. Live soft shell crabs. Soft, you see. You eat the whole thing. You have to clean them, cut their eyes and mouth off, turn the apron off. I'll show you when I get into detail. And you usually fry them, but the last 10 years I've sauteed mine. Now these are not on my diet. However, I'm making an exception tonight. There's 13 in here. I bought a dozen and the guy gave me a baker's dozen. So stand by for more. The best. The best ever. They're all cleaned. Waiting for the fire to warm up. Soft crabs. They've been flipped once. Getting close now. Coleslaw. 810. I just got in the recliner. TV's on. My Indian's in here. Big Indian, little Indian. One carnivore. Another carnivore. I don't see Bullhead nowhere. He's probably over there in that chair. Okay. It's raining a little bit. See you tomorrow.